Welcome to the Weather Insights Briefing. I'm meteorologist Scott Pitney, along with meteorologist Jeff Linder. And normally we're doing tropical updates this time of year, but we wanted to jump on this afternoon to talk about the flood potential for Texas. Right now we have a flash flood watch in effect for the green shaded counties in east and north Texas, extending over to the I-35 corridor until tomorrow night. And a few counties there in the magenta shaded boxes that I've uh, currently have flash flood warnings. So we saw this this morning, these areas in uh, southeast of Texas, at least the National Weather Service for Houston metro area for southeast Texas decided not to issue that flash flood watch for this area yet. But uh, that could change, Jeff, as we see the potential for flooding continue to develop and we are already on uh, saturated ground. Yeah, so this is the the flood watch here for you know southeast Texas. So Huntsville's included, College Station, back over towards uh, Brenham and Navasota. Um, but the the Weather Service chose not to extend this down into Montgomery, Waller, Austin, Colorado counties. Um, looking at some of the guidance this afternoon, I'll show that in a little bit. You know, I, I definitely think there is a risk uh, down here a little bit further south. You know, maybe even northwestern Harris County. Uh, as we get into late tonight and into tomorrow morning. And so just taking a look here at the water vapor, kind of the big picture, uh, you can kind of see this uh, upper trough here across West Texas, the spin. And we're sitting over here in Southeast Texas on the very favorable lifting side of this. So we have flow moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. We got a little bit of a, an influence of moisture from the Eastern Pacific with our decaying tropical systems, Barber and Cosme out there. And then we have the lift here with this upper trough, and we're going to have a disturbance. Kind of, you can see it here coming around the bottom of this. And it's going to develop showers and thunderstorms late tonight. We're talking after midnight uh, into the early morning hours of Thursday. Somewhere here in the northwestern portion of southeast Texas, maybe over to the eastern portion of central Texas. So if you kind of drew a line from Austin down towards Columbus, over towards Huntsville, somewhere in that area, somewhere in that kind of box, uh, we're going to see the development of showers and thunderstorms. And initially, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of motion with those storms. So we're pretty concerned about some heavy rainfall, some excessive rainfall initially, before this kind of develops upscale into another one of these big complexes like we saw this morning, and then pushes more towards the south and the coast, picks up speed. And so we think the maximum flash flood threat tonight will be somewhere here in the northern portions of the Brazos Valley, kind of northwest of the Houston metro but it's close, you know, if the models are off just a little bit and these storms fire a little bit further south, it could be on or within the northwest side of the Houston metro. We're talking Waller, Cypress, Katy, Spring, Tomball, those types of areas. So this is the 24 hour uh, ensemble, the short range ensemble forecast um, of rainfall for the next 24 hours. And you can see some of the numbers here are starting to get up there. And, and this is Harris County. The city of Houston's over here. It's a little bit difficult to see with all the colors here. College Station would be about right there. I-10, Sealy, right in this area here. And you can see out here, just west of Houston, Washington County, Austin County, uh, some of these areas, you know, potentially tonight, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches of rainfall uh, is on the table. And I wouldn't, you know, exactly say, oh, Sealy, you're going to get this or, or Washington County, you're going to get this. Somewhere in this area, again, from Austin over towards College Station, maybe even as far east as Huntsville, and then down towards the I-10 corridor, somewhere in this area, we're likely to see a bullseye of heavy rain tonight and, and higher end flash flood potential. And so there is some concern. This could be a little bit further south and east. You know, doing these storms for this long, I, I've seen this time and time again where it always looks like it's going to be kind of northwest of the metro. And the next thing you know, it kind of works its way down in here. And I'm going to show you one of our more re more of our one of our more reliable models. And this is the HER. And it's done fairly well the last couple of days with these big storm complexes. And this is kind of what it's thinking is for, for tonight. So this is the current situation. We don't have a lot. We're not going to have a lot going on this evening. And I'm going to step forward here. And as we get into the late night hours, um, after midnight, you can see we start to see this development down here to the south and the west. And this quickly develops here by 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And it, you can see here on this model, it's a little bit further to the south, maybe close to the US 59 corridor. Uh, where it kind of blows up all of this uh, thunderstorm activity. And as we step forward here, 
grows into a eventually into a complex here. Uh, but this is this is several hours of, of heavy rainfall through the rush hour um, into tomorrow morning. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this. Um, some of these totals could get up there. This is the type of situation where, you know, you could see two or three inches of rain in an hour, uh, which can generate a lot of runoff and flash flooding. And so we're going to have to pay attention to it, especially, again, north and west of the metro. So Waller County, Montgomery, Grimes, out towards uh, Austin County and Sealy. Those areas are the ones really that could be under the night tonight, but I wouldn't totally rule out completely Western Harris County, Northwest Harris County. And one thing I did want to show, you mentioned the ground starting to saturate. You know, it's been raining since, uh, what, Monday, I think is when we had our first round. Yep. And so every 24 hours or so, we've gotten a round of thunderstorms. And this is the rainfall amounts over the last seven days. So kind of varying all over the place. You know, there's some four inches in here. There's some three inches, a lot of one and two inch rains. Um, but interestingly enough, kind of out where we're watching tonight, this area has kind of had uh, a little bit of a lower end on the rainfall here over the last couple of days. So maybe not quite as saturated out of this region. I don't think that's really going to matter that much when we start talking about the, the rainfall potential and the rates tonight. A lot of that's going to convert to runoff. Um, but the good news is, is, is it's, it's not very, uh, we, we, we don't have a lot of water in the creeks and the bayous out here in Northwest Harris County. So there's the potential, uh, with even heavy rains that a lot of the creeks and, and things can handle that water. So really going into tomorrow morning, it's probably going to be one of those, Hey, check for street flooding potential for lots of street flooding in the morning, especially through the rush hour. And we'll have to see just how much rain we get, where those maximum totals are, and what kind of responses we get on, on the watersheds. And so this is something, you know, you talk about the Brazos River, the San Bernard River. Those are river systems that they can get the rain tomorrow and they won't even uh, potentially experience any sort of flooding until maybe mid or late week or later in the week or toward the weekend when that water gets down into those main stems. So we're going to just have to watch it and see. And this, this wet kind of pattern even continues into the weekend. It, it kind of mm -hmm. calms down a little bit, um, but it stays unsettled even into the weekend. So... Best course of action tonight is just to keep uh, uh, updated on the, the uh, radar. And before you go out in the morning, check with uh, the radar, your trusted sources of information of where we've seen the heavy rain and, and where it's at uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, tra check uh, Houston Transtar for uh, potential flooding. Check your route before you head out. Keep your alert devices handy. And we'll keep you updated right here on Weather Insights. If you're not already on our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on those notifications. Also check out our website, weatherinsights.net for just blogs and our daily forecasts. Jeff, thank you very much.